over the past 22 years, Wigan Council with Lancashire Wildlife Trust have transformed over 60 hectares of their public open space and road verge into these species rich meadows. A huge gain in the northwest species rich grassland area. Just two decades ago, the species rich meadows at Wigan Flashes looked just like this, dominated by a few different rank grasses and virtually no flowering plants at all. But by managing their grasslands with a once a year traditional hay cut in August, they've turned these sites into species rich havens with over 25 different plant species per square metre. We are in the midst of a climate emergency and whilst people are doing things like tree planting and peatland restoration to mitigate some of those greenhouse gas emissions, what people don't often realise is that we're also in the midst of a biodiversity crisis. Huge rafts of species, especially here in Britain, are under threat of extinction and species rich meadows, just like this one here at the Wigan Flashes, are at risk of complete loss. They occupy about 1% of Britain's land surface, having declined over 97% in the past century. And I think they're incredible. <laughs> This meadow here at the Wigan Flashes is filled with a gorgeous little plant called yellow rattle. And what yellow rattle does is it parasitises, it attaches its roots onto the roots of these nearby grasses, making this environment, this meadow, more hospitable to wildflowers, which in turn benefit huge rafts of species, including pollinators. Yellow rattle in itself is also a super useful plant to both pollinators and an endangered moth which is recorded in Wigan called a grass rivulet. But it's not just all about wildflowers for pollinators. Grasses are hugely important components of meadows too. Species as common as coxfoot can be host 140 different insects which use it as a food plant. About half our British butterflies rely on these things as food plants for their larvae. And if you can hear the chirping in the background with me now, these grasshoppers are hugely important food sources for red-listed birds like skylark and grey partridge. As well as the huge range of plant species that grow in these meadows and encourage such a big diversity of life, What's also super important are the diversity of structures that these different plant species create, which are really important for a particular group of invertebrates, the spiders, which are an integral component of this meadow ecosystem. Even better news is that Wigan Council this year are managing even more of their green spaces with nature born in mind. Here at Aspel Fingerpost Common, they've decided to let the grass grow over summer, which has allowed for a huge boom in marsh orchids and loads of other rare and threatened plants that were being suppressed before. Things like lesser spearwort, which are at real risk of extinction in England. I've seen scores of butterflies and other things here too. Managing urban green spaces like this has allowed for Wigan to become a nature hotspot. Now, grasslands like this are a huge contrast to those fantastic meadows across Wigan we saw earlier. They're mown regularly and there isn't that species and structural diversity here that so, so many animals and other plants need to survive. There's no chirping of grasshoppers or buzzing of bees and there are no butterflies flitting about the place. Now, Relatively disused public open spaces like this one or road verges present a huge opportunity to local authorities across England. If we can improve these spaces for wildlife then that would be a fantastic bit of news for Britain's declining plants and animals.